Hello, this is Dr. Bernstein of Dr. Bernstein's Diabetes University. Uh, the subject for today's session will be uh, why do some people object to the use of insulin? I remember many years ago when I knew Dr. Robert Atkins, who uh, very much shared my belief in low carbohydrate diets, but uh, one of his reasons for the low carbohydrate diet was not uh, what was weight loss, and he said that the reasons the reason people got fat was because carbohydrate increased their insulin production, and uh, insulin can build fat. In fact, indeed, it does when you have a lot of carbohydrate in your diet, or uh, uh, even if you eat a um, huge amount of protein, uh, which eventually gets converted to uh, glucose if you're not eating anything else, uh, that glucose can be converted to fat. So uh, he had an objection to insulin on that score, but of course these excessive amounts of insulin would be reduced by cutting the carbohydrate. Uh, in my discussions with him, uh, it appeared that he rarely used insulin to treat his patients. And in those days, uh, my books were brand new. My, I should say my one book was brand new. No one knew, knew how to use insulin in small amounts to precisely control blood sugar so that everyone who was using insulin was uh, causing frequent episodes of hypoglycemia. So there were problems associated with it in those days. Yet even today, many doctors refuse to use insulin and uh, many doctors give theoretical reasons to justify what usually is their inability to use it, their lack of knowledge of the details of using small amounts of insulin. And if you read my book, Diabetes Solution, you can see that it's not a simple matter to use insulin. And uh, it's a myth to assume that any physician really knows how to uh, use small amounts of insulin to precisely offset uh, meals with small amounts of carbohydrate and so on. Uh, it requires a lot of details and a lot of knowledge. So you can see that number one, most doctors don't even know how to use it. And their use of it uh, ha by implication has to be unsafe. And indeed, uh, m uh, many physicians uh, r uh, recommend against the use of insulin simply because of the hazard to themselves. As I've said in these sessions before, doctors have told me that they don't uh, believe in normal blood sugars because uh, their patients at the high blood sugars they advocate may develop all the long-term complications of diabetes, congestive heart failure, blindness, kidney failure, etc., amputations, but uh, if they keep their blood sugars high, they won't develop hypoglycemia. And if we look at what are the potential downsides of insulin, a major downside is that if you don't know how to use it, you uh, stand strong odds of causing hypoglycemia. And most patients and most doctors do not know how to use insulin. So there's a lot of very low blood sugars out there amongst insulin-using patients. So statistically, you can say, yeah, um, uh, they're all going to get hypoglycemia because <laughs> they don't know what they're doing. Uh, and that's likely. If, if you read my books, however, and know how to use insulin, uh, it's another story altogether. 
And of course, doctors will say, look, if I, if I have one patient who dies from hypoglycemia, I get sued. The fact that uh, the high blood sugars are causing multiple deaths and uh, bizarre and painful complications to all the rest of my patients is unimportant to me because I, if I get sued, I might be out of business. So that's uh, a major reason for not using insulin. As I mentioned before, there's also the fact that uh, many doctors and patients follow the ADA philosophy. Eat a lot of carbohydrate, inject a lot of insulin, to cover the carbohydrates so that you don't go in, into such high blood sugars that the high blood sugars kill you right off the bat. Um, so here we have this advocacy of high carbohydrate and high insulin generating new insulins that are highly concentrated, U300, U500, so that people can take smaller shots to cover the large amounts of carbohydrate that they're consuming. So uh, this ability to turn carbohydrate into fat by injecting insulin is a disadvantage, but if you don't eat the carbohydrate, you don't have that problem. Um, I'm trying to think what, there are no basic physiologic disadvantages to normal glycemia and the in amount of insulin that you need to cause normal glycemia if you don't overeat carbohydrate. So if you're on a low carb diet, getting small amounts of insulin, uh, uh, which is, uh, is needed to cover both carbo and other uh, food sources like protein, um, there's no physiologic harm to the insulin. So here we have Insulin can be an inconvenience. It can make you fat if you eat a lot of carbohydrate. And it can cause hypoglycemia if you're not uh, knowledgeable about how to use it. Those are the three disadvantages to insulin. The advantages are that for many people, uh, in my experience, most type 2 diabetics you cannot get normal blood sugars without it. I have a, maybe I have five type two patients, probably less, maybe three, who are only getting oral agents to treat their blood sugars and they're keeping normal. That's because they're making uh, enough of their own insulin to fill in what the oral agents don't do for them. Uh, but all the rest of my type two diabetics get to a point where we're adding oral agents, uh, we're trying some that don't work, some that are causing adverse effects, uh, some that have other hazards, and uh, maybe we end up with one oral agent or two, and the blood sugars are still not normal, they're not walking around with blood sugars around 83, or A1Cs between 4.2 and 4.6, so we add insulin, and the little bit of insulin that we add doesn't do any harm, uh, and, uh, but I can understand why doctors who do not know how to use insulin uh, are afraid of it. And I might add further that many of my patients are using diluted insulins. If you were to hear me talking on the phone to a patient of mine at some distant point, might be another country, might be another state, uh, and we're talking about RD or HD, we're talking about diluted. The D stands for diluted. And each patient who needs diluted insulin gets their own ratio of dilution that is most convenient for them. Uh, so uh, when you deal with diluted insulin, you're dealing with very small amounts. Uh, we're not dealing with the big doses that are advocated by the ADA to cover large amounts of carbo. I hope this clarifies the issue. It's not an easy one to explain, but good luck. Uh, before you sign off from this session of Diabetes University, 
take a look at my book, Diabetes Solution, which uh, you can view at the site listed below, or you can purchase from any online bookstore. Also, visit my monthly seminars, teleseminars. Uh, the site for getting these free seminars is listed below. Um, you can also uh, join the Diabetes Forum, where you can ask questions to other diabetics who have read my book and have been using it. And one last thing is, if you go to the teleseminar, you can ask questions, which I will answer, uh, if not the same month that you asked the question, uh, within a month or two thereof. Thanks.